Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today, whether you are here in the room or watching this presentation online. My name is Jalil Piran and I am an associate professor in artificial intelligence. It's an honor to speak with you about one of the most critical geopolitical showdowns of our era, the AI Cold War between the United States and China. This is not just a rivalry between two countries. It's a high-stake battle of technological supremacy, economic might, and national security, a struggle that could define the 21st century. To unpack this, I want to take you a journey through history and theory, using a fascinating lens, the cycle of civilization, proposed by the 14th century thinker Ibn Khaldun. His framework offers a timeless way to understand how nations rise, peak, and fade. Together we will explore, is the US stagnating? Is China poised to take the lead? And what is the role of AI in this battle? First, we will see why AI matters. Let's start with the big picture. Artificial intelligence is not just a shiny new toy. It's the backbone of global dominance. It drives economic power through automation and innovation, transforming industries like finance, healthcare, and cybersecurity. It bolsters military strength by enhancing defense systems and intelligent capabilities. And it reshapes society by controlling information, influencing opinions, and enabling unprecedented surveillance. Whoever leads in AI does not just get bragging rights. They set the rules for the future. The nation that masters AI integration in its economy and security will dictate global standards. This is not a side project. It's the most pivotal competition of our time. You have likely heard the term AI Cold War tossed around in the media. Today, we are going to dig deeper using Ibn Khaldun insights to make sense of it all. But who was Ibn Khaldun? For those unfamiliar, Ibn Khaldun was a 14th century historian, sociologist, and philosopher, often called as the father of sociology. In his masterpiece, the Muqaddama, he laid out at the theory of how civilization evolved. They emerged, grow, hit their peak, and eventually decline. He pointed to drivers like social cohesion, what he called asabiya, aligned with economy, governance, and culture. It's a powerful tool to analyze today's US-China rivalry. So let's ask, has the US peaked and begun to sleep? Is China on the cusp of its golden age? And how does AI fit into this cycle? Now, let's compare the contenders. The US and China are chasing the same prize, but their strategies could not be more different. Since the 1950s, the United States has been the king of digital technology. Think IBM, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, and OpenAI. These giants have kept the United States at the forefront of AI. May you ask, what is the US model? Open innovation, fierce competition, and private sector hustle. It's the Silicon Valley way. Dream big, disrupt, and let the market sort it out. Meanwhile, China is playing a different game. In 2017, they declared the ambition to dominate AI by 2030. Companies like DeepSeek, Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, and Huawei are now leaping at Silicon Valley's heels. Their approach is top-down. Massive state investment, tight government control, and a knack for adapting. But China's rise is not just about money. They have turned opportunities into stepping stones. 
Decades ago, U.S. companies outsourced manufacturing to China for cheap labor. China did not just build the products, they learned the technology, mastered it, and started innovating. Huawei and Xiaomi went from copying Apple to challenging it head on. Meanwhile, thousands of Chinese students trained at top U.S. universities, MIT, Stanford, and Harvard, then brought that expertise home. Add in their thousand talent plan. China is building an AI unique framework. What is thousand talent plan? It's a global brain hunt offering top salaries and cutting edge laboratories to experts and invite them to China for work. So, where do these two powers stand in Ibn Khaldun's cycle? We went to study this case using several questions. Is the U.S. declining? Ibn Khaldun warned that when civilizations peak, luxury and red tape often stifle innovation, paving the way for decline. Some argue that U.S. fit this mold. Innovations slowing, they say, replaced by bureaucracy and complacency. The U.S. has slapped technology sanctions on China to cling to its edge. But can sanctions stop the ties of the history? The second question is, is China rising? On the flip side, Ibn Khaldun said emerging powers grow through greed and unity. China is pouring billion into AI and semiconductor showing all the signs of civilization on the ascent. But China also cautioned that after peaking, decline creeps in. Could bureaucracy or corruption stall China's momentum? The big question is, who wins? Here is the kicker. Ibn Khaldun believed no empire stays on top forever. If the U.S. does not adapt, it risks fading. If China overreads, it might stumble before claiming the crown. AI is the wild card speeding up this drama, amplifying strengths and exposing weaknesses. Let's look at the scoreboard. What are the U.S. highlights in AI? And on the other side, what are the China's wins? ChatGPT by OpenAI, it's a language model so advanced it's reshaping how we interact with technology. DeepMind's AlphaFold, cracking protein structure revolution in biology. Boston Dynamics robots that move like sci-fi come to life. NVIDIA, NVIDIA company powering AI with game-changing GPUs. Or Tesla, according to autonomous cars or Grok. So let's see what are the China's wins. Since time and Megui, as the world leaders in facial recognition technology. Baidu's Ernie, as the China responds to models like OpenAI ChatGPT series and Google's Gemini. Thanks to the Hawaii Ascend, AI chips reducing dependence on American semiconductors. Massive AI surveillance systems like AI power citywide monitoring. DeepSeek AI as a formidable rival to the OpenAI and Meta. Autonomous vehicles and remote surgery. Leading in AI research publication, China now publishes more AI papers than any other country. High AI patent volume, a key indicator of technological dominance that China has now, like advanced drone technology, quantum computing, and government AI strategy that they say the next generation AI development plan that aims for world leadership by 2030. Here is where it gets interesting. Despite the Cold War vibes, there is room for the U.S. and China to team up. Imagine AI tackling climate change, pandemics, or poverty, whereas global challenges do not care about borders or pandemics so. 
shared standards could make AI safer and more equitable. Scientific exchange could spark breakthroughs faster than either nation could alone. So what's next? I see three priorities. The first one is multilateral governance. Bodies like United Nations should regulate AI to keep it responsible and conflict-free. The second one is ethical leadership. Both nations must embed fairness, transparency, and safety into AI because power without principle is a recipe for chaos. And the last but not least is public awareness. We all need to understand AI's stakes so we can hold leaders accountable. Ladies and gentlemen, the AI Cold War between the US and China is defining challenge of our time. Ibn Khaldun reminds us that power shifts always. The risks are real, but so are the opportunities. If we balance competition with collaboration, we can steer AI toward a future that leaves us all. The choice we make now will echo for generations. Let's make them wisely. Thank you for your attention.